Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we are live at the Dorothy Talbot Rink in Gloucester, where the fishermen take on the Tanners from Woburn in boys varsity hockey action. Today's game is being brought to you by Cape and Media Productions. Camp can handle all your business, commercial, real estate, and industrial media needs, including live streaming, your events, and shooting beautiful drone footage. Give them a call at 978-879-3226. Also, if your company is interested in sponsoring continuing high school sports coverage here on KPN Live, call KPN Media Productions. That's Camp, 978-879-3226. All right. Gloucester Fisherman hockey team today, 4 o'clock game against the Tanners of Woburn. The last time these two teams met was about a month ago. It was in Woburn. Woburn won the game 6-5 to five in overtime. And this is the second to last game of the season. One more game to left. That will be Wednesday night after today. And the two teams are lined up at the uh, at their end of the ice, waiting for the starting lineups. And the, uh, the PA announcer doing the MIAA announcement has to be done. Jeremy Barreto will be a goal for the uh, Woven team. Tarantino, Nick Tarantino will be in there for Gloucester. Jack Costanto at center. Chris Lajacano will start on defense. Number six. Joe Orlando, number 15, start on forward. Emerson Marshall. Brett Cunningham. And the both teams will go to the blue line for our national anthem. There's our national anthem 
four o'clock start here today, late afternoon. It's a school vacation week. Uh, the Fisherman's last game will be Wednesday night. And I'm going to say by the end of this week, we should have the uh, um, uh, state tournament pairings. All should be ready by sometime this weekend. Who's playing who? Who's traveling where? Who's coming here and where, there, and everywhere? And we'll all have to wait and see on that. All right, the Marshall, Orlando, Cunningham will be the forwards. Costanzo and Lajacano are on defense. All right, here we go. Underway. Woman with the puck. They pass it up the middle. That's going to be an ice. And Woman trying to make that quick outlet pass. And they couldn't connect. And they got a quick icing. The faceoff goes down to the Woolbin end of the ice. Woolbin, Division One, eight five and three. Coming into this game, they should make the D one tournament. They're probably going to get a low seed. Off the draw. Costanzo, kept in by Marshall. Over to Orlando, shot blocked. And kept in by Costanzo. Down to Cunningham to Orlando. Marshall with it. Deflected. Just goes wide. Out front. And they couldn't keep it in. Comes out to the center ice area. Costanzo. Takes it in the zone. And once again, I think we're going to have an icing on Woolman. Okay. So the faceoff will go down to the Woolman zone. Drew White, Costanzo, and Jewel is the second line. Wobin brings it in his own shot. Blocked by Derek Elms. Elms gets it. Can't get it out of the zone. And Robbie Schuster has it. Schuster over to Jewel. Here comes Colby. Costanzo has it. Jack. Tried to feed Jewel. Went through his legs. And Derek Elms has it in the neutral zone. Look out. Here comes Wolbin. They're behind the Gloucester net. Robbie Schuster's there. Nick White comes out. Here comes Nick. Nick makes a nice move. He's got Cooper with him, Nick. Gains the blue line. Shot. Save. Shot on goal for Nick White. Nick White on the draw. Back to the point. Maroney. Shot. Deflected. Oh. Almost went in. Cooper is out there. Cade Cooper. Aiden Donald, number 18, is out there. Aiden working hard along the boards like he always is. Nick White behind the net. Woolman has control. And they get it out to center ice, but Maroney's there. And he falls down. Shot. Save. Tarantino, but the puck never went in the net. It went behind him. And there's a scrum. And here comes Nick White. Nick makes a nice move. Aiden Donald has it. And Aiden throws it in the corner. And the fishermen are on a line change. And both teams have had a couple of near misses already. Marshall in the corner. Cunningham in there for checking. And here comes Wolben. They break it out. Shot in on, uh, Testaver uh, on Tarantino. Marshall. Behind the net. Look out. Here comes Cunningham. He's got Marshall. Wing, wing the wing pass to Joe Orlando, but he couldn't connect. It goes down onto the goalie, so no ice. 
Oledo in there for checking. Marshall in there for checking. Cunningham in there. Out front. Joe Orlando shot. The blocked. Behind the net is Marshall. He has it. Cunningham's there too. There's a battle going on. Marshall comes out with it. Gets it to Orlando. Orlando to Cunningham. Shot save. Orlando. Shot. Marshall shot. Oh, goes just wide. Cunningham to Marshall. Marshall. And he loses possession. Comes outside the zone. Takes it right back in. And there's another icing on Wobin. No, it's going to go right on the goalie. Right on the Tarantino. And Schuster has it behind his own net. Here comes Robbie. Finds Costanzo. He's got Jewel with him. Jack goes in the corner. Well, here comes Wobin. They break it out. They got good speed. Shot. Save Tarantino. Shot blocked. Frady's is out there. Drew White has it. Here comes Drew. Makes a nice pass to Costanzo. Jewel, shot, blocked. White, shot, save. Drew White again, and we got an injured player. And I think that shot may have hit that number 11 for the Wolven team. Mike Arsenault. And he seems to be okay. He's limping. So Nick White, Danny O'Leary, and Aiden Donald is the line. Elms and Freddy's are on D. They win the faceoff. Kept in by Elms. But here comes Wolben. And Derek Elms gets back. Oh, what a hit by Elms. Nick White gets it out there. Puck goes in the Wolven end. Aiden Donald, Danny O'Leary in there for checking. But Wolven gets it out. Puck goes in the corner. Ryan Frady's. Over to Aiden Donald. O'Leary, they get it out, but Wolben knocks it right back in, but they're offsides. They touch up. Tim Maroney in there. Maroney over to the other side where Frady's is. Joe Orlando makes a pass. Tried to get Cunningham, but he couldn't connect. And that's going to be an ice. That's going to be an ice on the Wolben team. No score. 9.20 left in the first period. Both teams have had a couple of good scoring opportunities here in the early going. Out front, here we go. Score! <laughs> Brett Cunningham with an assist, I believe, from Emerson Marshall. one nothing Gloucester. Off the face-off. Pucks at the... Here comes Marshall. Gets it to Orlando, and they can't keep it in. Maroney throws it right back in, but they're off sides. They're going to touch up. And now they go back in. Here comes Wolben. He's in. Shot save. Tarantino with a big save there. The goal was by Cunningham with an assist from Marshall. Drew White throws it in deep. Drew White goes in a four check. Shot by Schuster. Out front. Oh, Costanzo had the rebound, but he couldn't put it home. 
And here comes Woolman. They break it out of the zone. Here they come. 2-1-1 one, one if they hurry. Shot. Goes wide. Drew White. Cut puck comes right up to him. He's got Jewel with him. Drew White. Shot. Blocked. Woolman has it. And they take it out of their zone. And Derek Elms with it. Elms. Jack Costanzo goes in and gets it. He passes it up to Drew White. Drew White with a nice pass to uh, uh, Colby Jewell. But the fisherman are on a line change. He finds Costanzo. Oh, there's a trip. And we got a trip and penalty coming up. And it's going to be number 12. Jackson Powers. For the Woolman team going to the penalty box, the Gloucester will bring out their power play. Costanzo, Jewel, Orlando, the forwards. Cunningham and Marshall will be on defense. Off the faceoff. And Woolman clears it. 1 0 Fisherman. So Gloucester on a power play. Here comes Costanzo. Makes a pass to Marshall. Marshall gets it in the zone, but Woolman clears it out. And Costanzo has it. He's at center rice. Right. He puts it in. Marshall goes in and digs for it. Orlando's there. Comes out in front, and Woolman clears it. Here comes Jack. Picks up speed. Gets, gains the blue line. Gets, tries to get in out front. Someone's there. The net's empty. Did it go in? No. Did they call it a goal? No. It almost went in. I don't think it went in. <laughs> a lot of the fans think it went in, but I don't think it did. But nevertheless, the play continues. Fisherman is still on the power play. Out front, shot, save by Barreto. Jeremy Barreto. Off the face off, Fisherman win the draw. Frady, shot, save, Barreto. Nick White. And the fisherman can't keep it in. Half a minute left on the power play. Maroney to Nick White. He's got Warren with him. He's got his brother Drew with him. Nick with a nice move. Nick, shot, save. Nice, pretty move by Nick White in the middle. Got a good shot on goal. Save Barreto. Costanzo comes out with Orlando and Cunningham. Marshall and Jewel. Marshall. Let it rip. Say Barreto. Costanzo has it. And he gets intercepted. Here comes Wolbin. Stolen. Joe Orlando has it. He can't control it. And Wolbin clears it. And that will kill the penalty. Gloss had a few opportunities, but they couldn't make it 2 0. Cunningham over to Marshall. Here comes Emerson. Shots go! Emerson Marshall with the laser beam. 2 0 Gloucester. Five and a half minutes left, first period. 2 0 Gloucester. Wolben has it. Here comes Wolben. They got a chance here, but broken up at the last minute. Good job by Lejacano. Aiden Donald out there. Aiden 
And the first goal was Cunningham from Marshall. The second goal is Marshall from Cunningham. The shots on goal. Two, 10 to five, Gloucester. Marshall, can't get it to Orlando. Here comes Wolbin. They shoot it in. They hustle in after it. Orlando with it. Joseph. Wolbin comes out with it. Shot. Tarantino the save. Here comes Gloss to Aiden Donald. Gives it to Marshall. Emerson over to Donald. And it's broken up. Kept in. But no, my, uh, Wolben takes it, gets it straight out. They throw it in the zone. And they call it an icing. Oh boy, that was close. Wow. Boy. He was he was one inch on the other side. And they call that a nice. Could have cut some slack on that one, Ruff. <laughs> Off the draw. Fisherman win it. Shot high over the net. Elms gets it in the zone. And they throw it in deep. Goes behind Tarantino. Elms is in there. It goes behind the glass in that. Colby Jewell. Kept in by Wolben. Shot. Save. So hit the side of the net. Couple of chances there for the Wolben team. Here comes Drew White. White throws it in. They get a line change. Costanzo for checking, but Wolben has the puck. Cooper comes out. Here comes Wolben. They throw it in deep. They start the four check. Derek Elms is back there. Wolben has it. Out front. Cunningham was there just in the nick of time. And Elms gets taken down, but no call. Here comes Costanzo. Cunningham back to Costanzo. Back to Cunningham. Back to Costanzo. Oh, it couldn't quite work. Stolen out front. Cooper's there. Behind the net. Cunningham finds Costanzo. Costanzo out front. Save by Barreto. Cunningham and the fisherman can't keep it in. Cunningham with it. Over to Freddy's. Over to Maroney. Oh, stolen by Wobin. And it goes in on uh, Tarantino. Puck comes into the corner. And here comes Maroney. Gets it out to the center of ice area. Marshall's there, but Marshall ends up going down. Uh, Nick White comes out. They bank it off the boards, but Wolven has it. Offsides. Oh, no, come on. And pucks along the near boards. And Nick White comes out with it. Nick takes it behind the net, makes a pass over to O'Leary. O'Leary gets it up to Marshall. Here comes Emerson. Trying to get by. He gets in. Save, Barreto. And is there going to be an ice? Yes, it is. So Cunningham from Marshall and Marshall from Cunningham, the two Gloucester goals. Costanzo's out there with Drew White and Jewel. But here comes Wolbin. Jewel takes a hit. Here comes Costanzo. He's got Drew White with him. 
They can't get into the zone. Lojacano puts it in, but Wolben has possession. Here comes Wolben. Goes in behind the net. And the fishermen have it. Here comes because one minute left in the first period. Here comes Jack. Costanzo. And here comes Wolben on the counter attack. And Derek Elms knocks him off the pot. Good solid play. Derek Elms. Cunningham. Here comes Brett. Got some good speed. He's got Orlando and Marshall with him. Offsides. Oh. Just by about an inch. Twenty six seconds left first period. And Tarantino ties it up. Twenty seconds left first period. Fishermen have a two to nothing lead. Uh oh, look out, shot. They take it behind the net. He had an opportunity to score there, but he did, he passed up the shot. In front, oh, he couldn't tip it. Woman had a chance. And that will be the end of the first period. The score of the Gloucester Fisherman 2, the Woman 10 is nothing. We'll be back for second period action in a few moments. what to do if you're stuck on the railroad crossing? Get out of your vehicle. If a train is not approaching, find the blue and white emergency notification system sign on the traffic signs at the crossing. For help, call the number on the sign and give them the crossing number so they know your location and can alert train traffic. Remember, find the blue and white to save your life. I was the lead gunner of the convoy that we had. While I was suppressing fire, I felt a flick on my upper bicep area. Right after my recovery, I had to find myself again and see what else I could do to continue my selfless service. Having an organization like the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes, putting me back into working with wounded troops helped me to process my injury. I'm Sergeant Mary Herrera and my alive date was November 8th, 2003. For more information, visit saluteheroes.org. All right, everybody, welcome back. The fishermen just took the ice. We send our sincere apologies. We had some internet problems in that first period. But don't worry, folks. The period did get taped. And you'll be able to see this game in its entirety. So, fishermen lead it 2-0. 
A goal by Brett Cunningham, assisted by Marshall. Then a goal by Marshall, assisted by Brett Cunningham. And that's where the fishermen stand right now, 2-0. Here comes the Woburn team now. And um, you know, we just had some issues that first period. We should be okay now. This is the last week of the high school hockey state turn uh, state hockey season. All games end on Thursday. The Fishermen will play their last game Wednesday night, right here, against Linfield. That's a 6 p.m. start. All right, 2 0 Gloucester. Marshall, Orlando, Cunningham is out there with Maroney and Freddy's. We're on the way, second period action. Marshall over to Cunningham. Shot. Say Barreto. Back over to the other side. Orlando's there. He's battling for it. Cunningham there over to Maroney. Maroney keeps it in, and Woolman gets it out of the zone. And here come the Tanners. Three on two. Shot goes wide. Cunningham with it. No, excuse me. That was Freddy's. Cunningham gets it out. He's got Marshall with him. They're back to back. Uh, Cunningham, he's in. Over to Marshall. Did it go in? No. Cunningham should have taken a shot himself. One too many passes there. Lozacano goes after it. It's an icing on Woburn. Cunningham probably should have took the shot. One too many passes on that play. Two nothing fishermen. We're back on live. Costanzo centering Jewel and Drew White. Lajacano and uh, um, Schuster on D. And oh, Schuster has it. Robbie throws it back in the zone. Takes a hit. Stolen by Jewel in front of the net. Can't control it. Woolman has it. Trying to work their way out. They pass it up to the wing. And it gets knocked into the, uh, into the Gloucester zone. Goes behind the Gloucester net. Schuster's there. And Woolman comes out with it. Shot. Goes wide. Jewel. Behind the net. But it goes to a Woolman player. But Jewel gets it back. Here comes Colby. Makes a nice move. Spins. He's got a player. Oh, we had Costanzo wide open, but the woman defenseman got there just in the nick of time. Costanzo hangs on to it. Over to Derek Elms. Elms has it. Wrist shot in. Deflected wide. Costanzo ends up with it. Back to Elms. Elms shot. Deflected. It was bouncing around there, but... The fisherman couldn't knock it home. Derek Elms with it. Elms. Shot. Goes wide. Nick White out there. Nick. Hustles after it. In the corner. Comes out front. And the Wolven goalie comes out to tie it up. Jeremy Barreto. Two nothing Gloucester. Second to last game of the season. Fishermen have a 14 and four record on the season. It's going to be interesting to see where they spot them on the state standings. Right now, I heard they're number two in Division Two, but we'll see. I think by the end of the week, we should have all that information. Uh, Maroney with it. Tim gives it up to Marshall, but he can't connect. And Woman try to get it in. And here comes Marshall. And they're off sides. Cunningham. Broken up. 
And here comes Wolbin. But the fishermen are back defensively. Joe Orlando on the far side. Big Joe. And it goes up in the air, the puck. Comes down to Wolbin player, but Tim Maroney has it. Maroney finds Marshall with a nice pass. Marshall can't get through. Fishermen are on a line chase. They better hurry up. Shot. Save. Nick Tarantino. Boston got caught in the line change there. And the woman forward, uh, forward picked right up on it. He went in and got a shot on goal. But uh, Nick Tarantino was there to make the save. The sophomore goaltender. So Costanzo comes out with Drew White and Colby Jewell. Here comes Jack. Jack has the puck. Passes it to Drew White. Tried to give it back to Costanzo, but he quite couldn't get it there. But Lejacano. And it goes to a woman player. They throw it in deep. Schuster's there. But the Tanners go after it. Here comes Colby Jewell. Works his way out. Gains the red line, gains the blue line. Colby Jewell makes a move, goes to the corner with it. Out front, finds Costanzo. Jack, out front the Drew White score! Drew White will get the goal. And I think you're going to get assist from Costanzo and Jewell. Three nothing Gloucester. And now he brings out a fourth line. Warren, Sala, and O'Leary. With Elms and San Filippo on defense. Here comes Danny O'Leary. Yeah. White from Costanzo and Jewel. 3-0 Gloucester. And the puck goes all the way down to the Gloucester end. No ice. Elms is back there. Out front. Look out. Shot. They just fanned on it. An opportunity there for Woman, but they, Oh, my God. He tackles him in the corner. And we got a penalty coming up on Woman. A delayed penalty. Tarantino got out of the net. And Derek Elms needs to keep us cool. So the fisherman will go on the power play. And let's see who it is. Number six for Warbin, Derek Pakari. Captain. Derek Bakari. A Bakari. So the fishermen bring out uh, Orlando, Costanzo, Marshall, Jewel, and the Cunningham. And nice play by Jewel, but that's a high stick. But he played it to himself. There should have been no whistle. It was two minute minor, two minute minor penalty for Derek Bakari for cross check. Marshall with it. Takes his time. Gives it to Costanzo. And here comes Jack. Jack banks it off the boards with a self pass. But Woolman has it. Colby Jewell goes after it. Jack. Up to Cunningham. Brett puts it in the zone. He goes after it. Out front to Marshall. He drills one. Wow. Over the net. That puck was humming. Here comes Woolman. Broken up. What a play by Colby Jewell. And they can't connect. Oh, Marshall has it. Takes it in the zone. Emerson, shot. Just goes wide. 
Cunningham, oh, he went to go pass it to Jewel, and he wasn't there. And here comes Wolbin. We're under a minute on the power play now. Cunningham over the, here comes Costanzo. Jack's got some speed, but he did broken up. And Wolbin has the puck. And they clear it. Wolbin doing a good job of killing this penalty. Colby Jewell, nice move behind the net. Gets it up to Emerson Marshall. Marshall gets broken up. And Marshall's going out for a trip. And I think the referee felt obligated to call that one. So, Emerson Marshall will go off for two minutes of tripping. So with eight and a half minutes left in the second period, three nothing Gloucester. It will be four on four for 15 seconds, and then Woman will go on the power play. So Nick White is out there. He's out there with Tim Maroney, Aiden Donald, and Freddy's. Shot deflected out of play. And yeah, the faceoff will come outside the zone. They hit a Woolman player. Yeah, so the puck comes outside the zone. And the Woolman team ain't too satisfied with that call. Four on four for six more seconds. Freddy's over to Nick White. Woolman knocks it back in. A Woolman now on the power play for a minute 40 seconds. Three nothing Gloucester. Nick White out there, uh, a penalty killing. He's out there with Costanzo, Maroney, and Freddy's. Oh, that was a close call there. And the puck comes outside the zone. Woolman has it. They're on a power play. They're going to try to set something up here. If they can get something going. Costanzo, when they're banging along the boards, Freddy's banging, and the fisherman get it out of there. Nice play by the fisherman. Maroney goes off. White goes off. Costanzo goes off. A whole new line comes on. Cunningham, Jewel, uh, Schuster, and Lajacano. They all come out. Woolman takes it in the zone. Looking for someone to pass to. He finds the point. And Cunningham can't break him up. Shot blocked in front. Colby Jewell gets it. Jewell gets rid of it. Oh, he had Cunningham behind the defense. But he couldn't get him the puck. Lajacano goes in after it. Schuster. Robbie Schuster with it. Nice move behind the net. Gives it to Chris Lajacano. He gets it up to Cunningham. And Cunningham all by himself. And the puck goes all the way down to the Gloucester end again where Colby Jewell is. Out front. Out front. Look out. Save. Look out. Look out. Woolman starting to get some power play, getting some time going here, his own time going. Yeah, the, the penalty is over. Fisherman are back at full strength, but Woolman putting some pressure on right now. Woolman has it. Marshall takes it behind his own net, gets it up to Brent Cunningham. Cunningham. And he finds Marshall, but they couldn't connect. They make a line change. Marshall. And he makes a back pass, but Woolman is there. And it goes to San Filippo out there. Nice play by uh, James. Cunningham with it. The San Filippo is stolen. Shot saved. Nicholas Tarantino. Big save there. Constanzo with it. Jack, he's got Marshall, and he's got it. He's in, makes the pass to O'Leary, shot, go wide. Oh, 
Marshall did the right thing, though, by making that pass. There's no question. And Woolman comes out with it. And Derek Elms with it. Marshall banks it off the board. Jack has it. He's in. He's going to Larry. And he couldn't get it to him. O'Leary has it now. My, uh, Costanzo comes out. Makes a move. Lost control. Drew White is out there. Freedies comes cracking down. Costanzo with it. And Maroney keeps it in with a nice play. Drew White in there. And Costanzo back four checking. Freddy's Drew White. Aiden Donald is out there. That's going to be offsides. Wolben. Now they touch up. Now they go back in. Wolben playing much better this period. Although they haven't been able to score yet. Nick White comes out. Nick White has the puck. Nick. Oh, we had a nice pass. He went to go hit his brother, but it was just too far in front of him. And it's going to be an icing on Gloucester. 2 nothing Gloucester. Uh, 3 nothing Gloucester. But this Wolven team is not going to go away easily. This is a Division One team with a lot of pride, folks. They're not going to go away. The last time these two teams met, it was they went to overtime in Wolven. Wolven came away with a 6-5 victory. Four minutes, two seconds remaining. Second period, three nothing Gloucester. Aiden Donald with it. Makes a pass to, to Nick White. Couldn't quite reach him. Lejacano with it. Banks it off the boards. Cooper. Cooper gets it in. And here comes Wolben. They, they gain the blue line. In and all alone. Shot. Save again. Shot. Deflected wide. Cooper. Kept in by Wolben. And Nicholas Tarantino makes the catch. Three twenty five left, second period. Elms pass to Cunningham. Cunningham, rink wide pass to Marshall. Oh, and he had Joe Orlando down the middle. It couldn't quite get to him, and it's going to be an icing on the fisherman. Shots on goals. Glossa leads at 16 to 10. Woman kind of catching up in that department a bit. Off the draw. Elms. Marshall comes and gets it. Here comes Emerson. Passes it to Cunningham, but he couldn't control it, but he goes in after it. No ice. Out front. Joe Orlando was whacking at it, but he couldn't get it home. Jeremy Barreto was there to make the save for the Wolven team. Two fifty-eight left, second period. Costanzo's line is out there again with Jewel and Drew White. And it comes Woman down the middle. But, oh, Freddy's is going to go out. I don't know what for, a hook? A slash. So Ryan Freddy's will go to the penalty box. Goals by Cunningham, Marshall, and Drew White. 3 nothing Fisherman. Lejacano Le over to Jewel. And Jewel gets it up to Costanzo. Jack one-on-one. -on -one. And he couldn't quite get through, but he has the puck. Regains it. 
Makes another move. Oh, we lost control of the puck. Oh, that would have been a beauty. But here comes Wolbin. They're on the power play. But Gloss is back defensively. Out front. Shot. That goes, the uh, puck goes wide and, and Wolbin couldn't keep it in. So uh, Frady's two minutes for slashing. Schuster gets, it, gets rid of it. Wolbin has it in the neutral zone. They got a power play. They need to get something going here. That was offsides. One fifty two left second period. Off the face off, face off on the neutral zone. Cunningham for checking. Brett goes in after it. Has a few words for number eight. Here comes Wolbin. Broken up. Nice play, Brett Cunningham. Wolbin still on the power play. They still got over 40 seconds left on it. They keep it in. Goes to Lajacano's out there. And they can't get it out. Kept in by Wolbin. Now they get it out. Here comes Marshall. He's got Cunningham two on two. Marshall, Cunningham, Marshall has it shot. Save Barreto. And so Wolbin has the puck. They got 15 seconds. One last rush for the power play. They swing it wide. They get it out front. Oh, they couldn't connect. Here comes Marshall. Fisherman are at full strength now. Here comes Freddy's. Marshall. What a pretty move, Marshall. Shot. Save Barreto. Nick White on the rebound. Oh, that was Drew, I mean. Couldn't quite get it. Marshall. He gets pushed away. Kept in by Drew White. And that's going to be an icing on uh, the Wolven team. 22 seconds left, second period, 3 0 Gloucester. Brett Cunningham with a goal, Emerson Masha with a goal, Drew White with a goal. Hello, Marianne, how you doing? Off the face off. Jewel, Jewel, shot. Say Barreto. He can't tie it up, though. Stolen by Costanzo. Shot, score! Oh, no! They're waving it off. And they're calling a penalty on Gloucester. A hooking penalty on Colby Jewel. And the fans are. Oh, my God! are expressing their displeasure over that one. And no, it's going to be Costanzo. And the referee's telling him, get in there, Jack. You score a goal and get a penalty on the same play. <laughs> So the so uh, Wolben will get another power play. Wolben has it. Shot blocked by Marshall, and that's the end of the second period. With the score, the Gloucester Fisherman three, the Wolben ten is nothing. We'll be back with third period action in a few moments.
what to do if you're stuck on the railroad crossing? Get out of your vehicle. If a train is not approaching, find the blue and white emergency notification system sign on the traffic signs at the crossing. For help, call the number on the sign and give them the crossing number so they know your location and can alert train traffic. Remember, find the blue and white to save your life. I was the lead gunner of the convoy that we had. While I was suppressing fire, I felt a flick on my upper bicep area. Right after my recovery, I had to find myself again and see what else I could do to continue my selfless service. Having an organization like the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes, putting me back into working with wounded troops helped me to process my injury. I'm Sergeant Mary Herrera and my alive date was November 8, 2003. For more information, visit saluteheroes.org. All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm Phil Nicastro, Jim Capillo on the camera. We apologize for the first period, but we're back on live now. Uh, three nothing Gloucester. Uh, by the end of this week, I'm hoping Thursday, uh, Friday or Saturday, the state tournament pairing should be released. Right now, Gloucester hanging in there at number two in the in uh, Division Two. And I've been hearing rumors that they could potentially be playing a couple of home games in the state tournament. Well, that would be wonderful if that could happen. So the Fisherman will start the third period on, on uh, shorthanded. Jack Costanzo is in the penalty box. Hey, Krista, how you doing, Krista? <laughs> so that penalty by Costanzo still has uh, 150 left on it. So if Wolven has any intentions on getting back in this game, they're gonna have to score here. So here we go, third period action. Off the face off. And Le Giacchino puts it in the seats. And some lucky fan got a souvenir. And there seems to be some jarring down there between the players. Emerson Marshall and number 10 for Wolben. Face off will be in the neutral zone. And the referee's having a little word with number 10 right now. Off the face off. Comes back to the woman defenseman, number 11, Austin Alt. Down in the corner it goes. Cunningham is there. Fighting for it in the corner. And they're trying to come out with it. Marshall. And what do we got? And I think we're going to get matching penalties here. Cunningham for Gloucester. And number 12, Jackson Powers for the Wolven team. So Wolben will have now a power play of four on three. Off the face off, comes up to the Wolben point. Goes wide. It's four on four right now. And here comes Marshall, he steals the puck. He's one on two though. And he gets bumped off the puck. 
Here comes Wolbin. They've gained the zone. Pass out front. And Freides was there to knock it away. But Wolbin, they're on the power play now. Again. They get, they get the puck along the boards. They get it up high to the point. There's a battle going on in front of the net right now. Shot. Save. And Wolbin keeps it in. Over to the other side. Shot. Score. Power play goal. Ryan Scalisi, number 10. And like I said earlier, this Wolbin team is not going to go away anytime soon. This is a solid Division I program with a lot of pride. So it's three to one, Fisherman. Off the face off. Costanzo, White, and Joe Orlando are back out there. Derek Elms with the puck. Here comes Wolbin. They're going to jump in their step now. Out front. Shot. Save. Rebound. Tarantino ties it up. Pushing and shoving going on. Gloucester needs to be careful. Don't need to get another penalty. So, this Wolven team, they're hungry right now. The face-off goes in the corner. Costanzo comes out with it. Here comes Jack. Banks it off the boards. Yeah, but Wolven steals it. Costanzo has it again. Out front. Look out. Blocked. Got lucky there. Out to the point, shot, blocked. And this Wolman team, they got their mojo going right now. Three to one, Gloucester leads it. Face off in the Gloucester zone. And Marshall's going to get heaved out of the face off. Nick White will take it. Comes out. Fishman trying to get it out. They can't. Wolven keeps it in. Puck comes along the near boards. Joe Orlando trying to get it out. Wolven keeps it in. Out front. Good play there. And the fishermen clear it. But it goes right on goal, so it's no ice. Joe Orlando went in a four check. All the play been in the Gloucester end so far this period. Freddy's after it. Ryan. Costanzo gets it. Jack, he's got room. He's got Nick White. He gives it to Nick White. And Nick couldn't hang on to it, but Nick goes in after it. Nick's forechecking. And Woman has the puck. And here come the Tanners. They break it out. 3 to 1, Gloucester. Costanzo with it. Jack makes a move. Jack throwing his weight around. Tim Maroney has it behind the net. Maroney. And he gets hit from behind. No call. Pucks in the corner. Freddy's goes after it. Banks it off the boards. He, they keep it in. What a nice play that was. Fisherman having a hard time getting the puck out of the zone. Now they're going to get a line change and they're going to get an icing. So right now, Wolbin has the edge in his third period. They have a goal. It's 3-1. There's 11-15 remaining in the game. Shots on goal, 21-14. The Fishermen have the lead in that department. But it's only 3-1. Cunningham has it. Puck goes to Derek Elms. 
Elms to Joe Orlando. No one's there. Orlando flips it in. It was like a pop fly. So now they got the face off. At least they got the face off down on the woven end now. So Cunningham, Orlando, and Marshall with Elms and San Filippo on D. San Filippo has it. Puts it in. Out front. Cunningham. Shot deflected by Marshall. Goes wide. Out to Elms. Shot deflected. Score! Emerson Marshall with the tip in. Four to one, Gloucester. That will be Marshall's second goal of the night. And I think Derek Elms is going to get an assist on that play. Here comes Marshall again. Marshall, he's got Joe Orlando with him, but he takes it to the corner. Marshall out front. Comes back to the point. LeJac and O'Shaw goes wide. All right. Elms did get an assist. Wolben with the puck. 4-1 to one, Gloucester. 10 minutes left in the game. That was a huge goal for the Fisherman. Wolben was getting the momentum in this game. And here come, here come the Tanners now. Shot. Save. Good leg save there. Out front. Drew White has it. Drew White comes out with it. Oh, uh, Jewel makes a nice move. Colby finds Jack. Here comes Costanzo. Gains the blue line. He's got Drew White with him. Oh, we couldn't quite get Drew White. Oh, he was there. White out front. Shot. Save. Costanzo, he was on his backhand on that one. So he couldn't get the full brunt of it. Otherwise, it would have been a goal. <laughs> 4-1 to one, Gloucester. After tonight, the Fishermen have one more game left. That'd be Wednesday night against a red-hot Linfield team. Linfield, since they lost to Gloucester earlier this year, a 12-1-1 since that game. So that's going to be no easy game Wednesday night. And like I said earlier in this period, the state tournament pairing should be released Sometime the end of this week. Friday or Saturday. All right, here comes Wolbin. Make a pass to the middle. They couldn't connect. Colby Jewell on the back check. And the fisherman bounced it out of the zone. Carvelis comes out. Uh... Here comes Wolben. Shot. Save. Tarantino with the save. Eight twenty seven left in the game. Fishman have a four to one lead. Off the face off. Carvelis is out there. Carvelis has the puck. Makes a pass to, Don to Donald. Donald throws it in. Nick White goes in after it. Nick goes in. But Woman has the puck. Donald, Aiden Donald. Four, but here comes Woman. Two on one. Look out. Shot. Wide. That was a good setup there by the Wolven team. Out front, shot. Oh, they just missed that. Fishman got a break on that one. And Aiden Donald just takes a hit. And what have we got going here? Offsides. And it's getting a little chippy out there, folks.
7.44 remaining in the game. Schuster with it. Off the boards. Woman has it. Here come the Tanners. They swing it wide. The Giacchino forces them wide. Nice play by the Giacchino. Here comes Marshall. Nice pass to Cunningham, but couldn't quite hang on to it. And Woman on the turnaround, and it goes way out of play. And I think that faceoff should go all the way down to the Woman end. No, it's going to be in the neutral zone. All right. Seven minutes, 13 seconds left in this game. Fisherman a 14 and 4 on the season. <laughs> Lejacano. He goes in after it, goes behind the net. Costanzo has it. Jack. Over to Jewel. Back to Jack. Jack makes a move. He's got Drew White. Drew White. Can he get there? No. But Jack regains it. Shot. Oh, he fanned on it. Frady's with it. Over to Maroney. Over to Jewel. Jewel makes a move. And he lost control. And David and Colby Jewel is going out for a trip. So Woolman will go back on the power play. Colby Jewel, two minutes of tripping. Off the face off, Woolman keeps it in. They're on the power play. Shot. Deflected. Cunningham has it, and Cunningham gets rid of it. They get it out of the zone, but Woolman has possession. That's going to be an ice, yes. So Colby Jewell for tripping. Gives Woolman the power play, but Woolman just iced the puck, so the Fishman... We'll get the face off down in the Woolman zone. Wednesday night, we'll be right here for the last game of the season. Of the regular season. And you can sure bet there's going to be guaranteed playoffs. Brett Cunningham. Shot. Save Barreto. Jeremy Barreto for uh, the Woolman team with a nice save. And once again, they get the face-off in the Woolman end. Marshall, Cunningham, Frades, and Maroney are the four skaters for Gloucester. Puck goes in behind the net. And here comes Woolman. They, got, they can break it out. Shot goes wide. Woolman has it. They get it out front. Out front, look out, they try to stuff it home. Do they get it? Yeah, they score. Number 10, Ryan Scalisi. He, I got, he had the first goal. It was either 10 or 11. Oh, was it 11? Okay. That would have been Mike Arsenault to make it 4-2. to two. Power play goal for Woolman. And this game is not quite over yet. Still five and a half minutes left. Off the face off. Woman gets it in the zone. Le Jacquino goes after it. Fisherman get it out. And Drew White has it. Here comes Drew. Jewel. And Colby Jewel. 
Over to Lejacono. Lejacono. And Nick White gets it in the zone. I'm Drew White, I'm sorry. Uh, stolen by Schuster. Finds Jewel. Yeah, it was number 11, yeah. In the corner, Jewel. Colby Jewel banging away. Fisherman get it out to the point. Lejacono. Rich shot. Deflected wide. And Robbie Schuster can't keep it in. But Lejacono goes and gets it. Lejacono. Couldn't make a good pass coming out. Kept in by Wolbin. They keep it in. Shot. Blocked. Costanzo. He's got Brett Cunningham. He's going to have to hurry. Fans on it. Get in the middle. You got Joe Orlando. Oh. Marshall to Orlando. Shorty fanned on it. Oh, the fisherman had a golden opportunity there. And here comes Wolbin. And we got a hook and penalty coming up on Emerson Marshall. And the fishermen are going to go back to the penalty box. 4-2 to two game. There's exactly four minutes left in this game. And once again, Wolbin will go on the power play with the opportunity to make it a one-goal game. So here we go. Off the face-off. Pucks in the corner. Wolven comes out with it. Back to the point. Over to the other side. Down low. Look out. Shot. Save. Tarantino. And the puck goes out of play. And like I said earlier, this Wolven team is a Division I program. They're not going to go away easily. This is a pretty good team. They beat Gloucester earlier this year. 6-5 to five in overtime. Off the face-off. Lejacono out there. Schuster's out there. Lejacono behind the net, working hard. Fisherman is short-handed. Lejacono. Wolbin comes out with it, broken up. Schuster banging along the boards. Lejacono in there. Costanzo's there. Jack, get rid of it, Jack. Or skate it out, one or the other. Makes a nice pass to Cunningham. Brett, he's in, and that's a hook. Let's go. They're not calling that. Come on. Come on, ref. Yeah, you think, oh, it could have been a penalty show. You could have made an argument for that. And they get it out of the zone. Costanzo clears it. There's still one minute left on the woman power play. Oh, my God. That was terrible. <laughs> For you people that are listening to Wolbin, I, I, I apologize. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wolbin still got time on this power play. Offsides. Good call, ref. <laughs> I want to thank the people that are listening in Wolbin. Thank you for uh, your attention tonight. So we get a timeout. Timeout, Wolbin. And they might be thinking about putting together a little bit of a strategy here. Pull the goaltender. They still got 38 seconds remaining on this power play. So if they can make it a one-goal game, they'll be in a position to pull their goaltender. I want to thank all you people for tuning in to this afternoon or... Uh, late this afternoon, early evening. We had a little bit of a problem with our internet connection here in the first period, but we've uh, rectified it. You, you'll be able to see this game in its entirety when uh, it ends up on YouTube. Amy Musiri, listening from Florida. Thank you, Amy. Don't forget to tell the entire state of Florida, Amy. All right, 
Faceoff will be in the neutral zone after the offsides. Fishman still need to kill this penalty. And when they do, there'll be exactly two minutes left. And Wilbur still might pull their goalie, even though they'll be down by two. Here comes the Tanners. They get it up over the blue line. They're going to set their power play up out front. And the Fisherman clearer. They do pull the goalie. They do pull the goalie. Now they get a two-man advantage for about 20 seconds. Wilbur will. The net is empty. Wolbin with it in the Gloucester zone. They have possession. They got a two-man edge right now. Shot. Save. Costanzo, is they going to go in the net? No. It's no ice. Jewel missed the open net. <laughs> Stolen. Marshall, but here comes, here comes Wolbin. The net is empty. The power play is over. All right, Janelle from Florida. Tell the entire state about us. <laughs> All right, it's uh, Wolbin has the empty net. One, two, three, four, five, six skaters. Gloucester has five. Just under two minutes left. Out to the point. Fisherman turn it over. They get it down low. Shot. Tarantino the save. A beautiful save. And the crowd loved that one. The shots on goal, 25 to 21. And Woolman certainly caught up in that department. And Gloss is going to call a timeout. Coach Geary is going to get his team together, read up the riot act for a couple of minutes, and get him back out there. <laughs> One thirty-eight remaining. Fishermen are fourteen and four on the season. Two more games left. Well, actually, one one game and one and a half minutes left. <laughs> now I want to get to that Linfield team. The team they're playing Wednesday night. I mentioned it earlier. They're twelve one and one since they lost to Gloucester earlier this year. And when they played, it was New Year's Day, I believe, when they lost to Gloucester. So the net's still empty for Warbin. Off the faceoff, Jack wins it. Good draw. But Warbin steals it. They get it out front. And Tarantino ties it up on the side of the net. Wow, wow, I wonder why, or oh, maybe, you know what happened? It might have gone in the back of the net. The Wolven player put it there, yeah. One minute, 30 seconds left. Off the face off, it goes all the way down to the Wolven end. The net is empty. Here comes Wolven. Puck in the corner, out front. Once again, it goes behind the net. Look out! And some pushing and shoving. I thought that puck bounced in the net, but nope. Nicholas Tarantino was there to catch it. Rumor has it there could be some state tournament games right here. Gloucester could play at home in the state tourney. We'll see what happens with that. We should know that by the end of the week. And let's not forget, folks, the Gloucester basketball team will be in the state tournament as well. And Costanzo gets it out of there. One minute left in the game. Colby Jewell goes after it. 
But it's an icing. It's an icing on Gloucester. So right now in Division Two, Gloucester's ranked number two. The number one team is Tewksbury. So if that holds like that, Gloucester will get a few home games out of it. And they flip it out. Goes outside the zone. 50 seconds left. Jack has it. Spins back. Passes it over to Marshall. Marshall. A little high over the net. <laughs> and that means the face-off will be no. Well, no, we'll come to center ice. Wolben has it. Up the middle, look out, oh, oh, shot, oh, Tarantino was there. <clears throat> out front, look out, look out, shot, goes out of play. And this Wolver team, they're playing right to the very end. You knew they would. Yeah, that's going to come outside the zone too, yeah. Derek Elms with it. Gets broken up. Marshall has it. Look out. And yeah, we got an injured Wolven player. Number 12, Jackson Powers. And I'm not quite sure what happened to him. A penalty's coming up on Gloucester. Ian Wolven, I think. Oh, five-minute major. It's going to be on Chris Lejacano, number six. And let's see. Lejacano, they're showing five minutes with his number up on the board. Well, the scorekeeper put that up there pretty quickly, even before the referee talked to him about it. The Jacquino was still out there. Has he been told he's going to the penalty box? Sixteen seconds left. The faceoff is down in the Wolven zone. If there's a penalty on Gloucester, I guess there's not. And what's going on here? The referee. Why is Costanzo going to the box? <laughs> okay, number 21. For the, okay, he called matching penalties. Okay, Jackson, the penalty box on the home side, two minutes. Number six. That's on the guest side. That's on Wolben's side. And number 21 is on Wolben's side. So there's two penalties out there for Wolben. They put the goalie back in. Not that that makes any difference. So a major penalty on the Wolben play. Out front. Oh. 12 seconds. The Giacchino there. Three. Two, one, and that's the end of the game. The final score, the Gloucester Fisherman four, the Wolven Tanners two. The Fisherman will go to 15 wins, four losses on the season, one more regular season game to play, and that will be Wednesday night right here against the Red Hot Linfield team.
The two teams will line up to shake hands. And folks, these are exciting times for GHS hockey right now. Jump on the beer wagon, folks, because it's going to be fun. The two teams line up to shake hands for Jim Capello. I'm Phil Castro. Until next time for Gloucester High School Hockey. Have a great night, everybody.